Hey, it's me again, Ustra, and we are back with Rokuen. I guess this is how I pronounce this. Um, quick disclaimer before we begin and dive back into the story. This is an emotional, emotion-heavy game. Um, I never played it before. I didn't look anything up before. This is blind and cold as it is. Um, and... That's pretty much it. If you know this game and love this game and you want me to re react and live through the experience that you had with this game, I will most likely disappoint you because I have my own way of thinking and expressing myself and I'm sorry about that. But that's pretty much it because um, I like this game. This game is fantastic. Let's go. I always want to go... But you have to use the arrow keys here. So last time we uh, entered the tea house and hot spring area and we are in the story of... We're still in the story of... Um, Tony, the bear, I guess? I guess? Um, and we are traveling now to learn the song for the music for the so-called music box this is what we're doing right now so i look forward to it can i go into the well i can go into this well too oh there's more ground alpacas why though on denji he's scared well they don't talk to me what did i do wrong Stupid ground alpacas. Weeds. Um, are you okay? Hello, dear. Sometimes the biggest things we can do to help someone is to just be there for them. I, you know, like... Hello, don't eat me, please. Why are you in our cave? Who are you? Excuse me, are you Christina? Yes, that's my name. Are you one of the cub's friends? Actually, we're here on behalf of Tony. Tony? We don't know him? No, no, I know him. I just haven't seen him in a very long time. He asked us to help him fix something. You show Christiana the broken music box. Tony had that? Yes. Blacksmith Jackie fixed most of it, but he can't fix the spindle inside without knowing the song that, is su that it's supposed to play. Tony told us that you are the only one who would know the song. Oh. I'm sorry, but I can't remember it either. Oh, come, come on, try. Well, thank you for your efforts. I'm sorry I couldn't uh, have been more helpful. I guess we're going now deep down the uh, memory lane. What? Yeah. Christy, wake up. So I guess mom is gone again. Come on, Christy. Let's go play. Why is dark? Mom is here too. A snow glo globe from Switzerland. A young girl's diary. Open it sure. The journal is locked. Aw, there is a notepad on the padded on the side. Read it, yeah. Benny, you'd better not try to read my diary. There is girl stuff in there, so seek so, so keep out. Love Christy. What is girl stuff? What is this so called girl stuff we're talking about? What are girl secrets? Do girls have secrets? Do they hide something from us, Chet? Are girls hiding stuff from us? They would not do that, right? No? Are you, you sure? I, I trust you, Sayo. Turn on the television? Sure. It seems to be broken. <laughs> 12. I guess she says the truth. Top left. A small, a small note. Uh, been tucked in between a pair of white socks. Read it. Sure. Hi, Christy. Well, never. You will never believe what I found today in your room. <laughs> mm. Another secret passage in the wall. 
if you can find it. If you can't, ask me and I'll tell you. Love, Benny. P.S. I was only in your room because Oogie was hiding under your bed. And I didn't read your diary. Okay, that's good to know. Neatly folded clothes filled the drawer. You see something shiny underneath one of the shirts. See what it is? You found 5G. Yeah, it's my money now. That drawer is locked. Okay, good, cool. A girl's winter coat. Look inside the pockets? Sure. There is nothing inside except for an old faded movie ticket. The shelves are lined with several kinds of books from mystery and high fantasy genre. One book is slightly out of place. Look behind it. You find a letter that has been wedged in between the books. Read it? Sure. Dear Christy, this place is pretty neat after all. The house is big with lots of rooms to explore. Some of the doors are locked though. And the outside part is really big. There is a river and even a waterfall. And today mommy found a turtle. Anyways, when you get back from school, we, pl we should go play. I have lots to show you. Love, Benny. So, um, I don't know who Chrissy and Benny is, but that's fine. Um, my, my favorite part so far in the game, because if you were not there yesterday, um, there was like... On one of the Sky Islands, we could like visit them now, uh, there was like an, an onion and a uh, globe up, or like a glow shroom, and they played D&D &D together, and they like yelled at us why we are in this like realm of theirs, and why are we invading their uh, like, I don't know, their D&D &D world basically. And the kid didn't know what to say, and the mom is like totally diving into full on D&D, &D, like, oh yeah, do you, did you, do you not know him? He's the great warrior of whatever country, and they're like, oh. Impressive. <laughs> and then you, when you talk to them, they said, uh, yeah, um, make your roll. And the onion is like, you rolled a one. You rolled a one. And the, uh, and the other character is like, huh? Why? And he's like, yeah, I told you you should go more in luck. <laughs> what the fuck? It was so funny to me. I, I felt so called out. I feel so called out by onion and the mushroom. Too funny. An assortment of math, history and foreign language school books stacked on top of the books are brochures about traveling to Japan. So it's like, it's like heavily in, it's like everything is like hinting on Japan. Something is written on the back cover of, of one of them. Read it, sure. That was wrong. It's something in red again. I will write this down. And I am interested why mom is here. That was wrong. Okay. I don't know what these red things mean, but I write them down just in case. Basket filled with laundry. Look through it. Sure. This is a girl's laundry. Fine. There's nothing in here but laundry. That's good. A young, young adult novel about a detective solving a murder mystery. <gasps> detective Conan. I love it. I didn't interact with a teddy bear. A teddy bear. Hmm. That's fair. The door is locked, so I guess we have to find the secret passage then, huh? Okay. Ah! Ooh, there's a letter on the floor. Read it, sure. Dear Christy, uh, how's my little girl? Are you helping your mother around the house? Are you getting good grades? When I come home, I'll be bringing your special present for being so good, love, Ed. A model airplane. Yeah, we are definitely in Tony's memories here. Yeah? box wrapped in package uh, packaging tape there's something written on the side read it sure i i don't know why i nothing so far like hurt me or harmed me when i read it so i'm a little bit it's a little bit odd that the, the game always like do you want to read this like no 
I don't want to read any of this, but I guess if I want to like know what the story is, I should read that. Yeah, just just say it. Did, do you not like go into like a like oh yeah hmm there is a card here I don't know like oh there's this book here oh do you want to read the title of the book like no <laughs> did you not do it automatically like I don't know it's it's weird uh, deliver to Culver City maybe I'm very polite thirteen I write this down too that was wrong thirteen. 13 times my dad was wrong. A lovely painting of a woman. The, the name Bonnie is written on the frame. There's something etched into the left side of the frame. Look. Yeah. Don't go back. Okay. Everything is written in red. Dad makes 13 mistakes. Stop draw. Draw is filled with letters and postcards addressed to houses in several different states. You found the Christie's dresser key. I guess I go back then. Bottom drawer. A photograph of a man in a pilot in uniform standing by a girl in, in, in elementary school. There's a fading writing on the back. Read it. Mm, I can guess. St. Louis, first grade. Okay, this is in America then. Benny. Was was Benny written there for before? Maybe not. You used Christie's dresser key to unlock the drawer. You found the passage key. Benny was here. Benny was here. Is he cool? But I bet Benny saw. Maybe it's a saw. Right? Benny saw. Yeah, this is like a. We don't know enough. We don't know now. Let's continue. Another airplane. Uh. Yes, I do this. And I do this. Christie's room key. Wait, there's something else inside. What is it? Hmm, it looks like a letter that never got sent. It got a stamp on it and everything. For Tony only, is said. it says. Maybe we will better not open that. We can hold on to it and give it to Tony the next time we see him. What about this weird drawing that the letter is attached to? What is this? Uh, well, now I'm not totally sure. If I had to guess, I'd say it looks like a set of plans for building wings don't you think definitely drawn by a little kid looks what's look what's written on the back if i want to see him i have to build wings let's study these plans maybe we could uh, even build our own wings using materials from around the house what do you think yeah okay here are the plans how to build wings by christy uh, six feathers, feathers, eight sticks, fly to dead, get glue, backpack straps. So, six feathers, eight sticks, backpack straps, and glue. That shouldn't be too hard to find. I, uh, if, yes, sure, why, yeah, yes, okay. A blue toy ca train car with the name Benny written on the side. Okay, let's reset the room. Maybe I have to go to the pile of child, child thingies. A teddy bear with a note attached. Read note, yes. Dear Christy, I got you this bear from the sh from a shop in Oregon. Take care of it for me till I get back. Okay, love dad. So I guess Tony is the dad of Christy and Benny. Um. <laughs> it's it's Benny was here. Really? Okay. Found a feather. Found a stick. Oh god. This will take forever. Eh, bright. Shh, 
careful, Christy. Do you see them? There's so many fish. I want to eat them all. Hey, soon enough. We're gonna be very quiet. We're gonna listen very carefully. When the time is right, you'll know it. But what if I don't know it? You will. Look, Christy. Do you see it? Where? No, I don't see it yet. I see it now. Get ready. Get ready. And remember what I taught you. Shank him. You did it. A little girl called her first fish. Daddy, I did it. I caught a fish. I knew we could do it. I'm proud of you. Flying? I am afraid to fly. To even remotely try to fly. I will never spread my wings. I will be in my cage forever. Oh! But you will fly down here. We all fly down here. Very good. I can't fly. <laughs> why is house so spooky? Why do we have why do we have spooky music in house? There's a letter on the ground addressed to Christiana's parents. Read a chore. I'm growing increasingly I'm growing increasingly concerned about Christiana. Uh, Chris, Christina, sorry. She used to pay attention in class and always completed her homework on time. Lately, however, she's been having difficult uh, concentrating during lessons. Yeah, it's called puberty. I had that all the time. I could not like sit in class and do anything for a while. Like I was, I, I wanted to do other shit. I wanted to go out with my friends. I wanted to do, I wanted to be everywhere else but in class. This is called puberty, my friends. And in the past week alone, she's already forgotten to turn in her homework three times. How dare she? The blue, red, and yellow switches downstairs must all be turned on in order to gain access to the attic. Okay. You're not falling in style, you're gliding. Okay. <gasps> A bathroom! Oh no, it's another toilet and my mom is not coming with me. Hello. Boy. Did you bring the sacrifices? No, I... D I, I, I couldn't. Uma, it turned out Uma was pretty nice and the people didn't want me to cut his legs off to sacrifice his legs. That's too bad, but we need the sacrifice to fulfill the ritual. Which ritual then? Which one? You know the ritual. The one, the only that makes your paper armor into real armor. Oh, this ritual. I will bring you a sacrifice right away. What right away? Fill the sink with water? Sure. Oh, my bucket has still holds water. Hand towel. It looks as though someone has written something on the wall behind the towel. Look. Sure. That was wrong. Yeah, I, I wrote this down already. Basket filled with laundry. Look through it, sure. Someone left an envelope inside of the pocket of a pair of pants. Eat what? Eat what's inside? It seems the children have found their own clubhouse. It's not in the trees. Apparently it's somewhere inside the house. Benny hinted at it today. I'm guessing they found a little room. Connected to one of the closets, perhaps? As long as they're safe, I don't mind. But could you keep an eye on them when I run to the store? I won't it I won't be long. Oh god, someone died. A large bus tub. I this music is like a I d I don't like this music, guys. A model airplane. An aviator's guide to the northeast. It looks as though someone has written something inside the book. Look? No. Thirteen steps in the closet. Oh, steps in the closet. And it will open the secret passage to Narnia. Do you, anyone, anyone had the, I know like uh, thing, thingy McBobber, like the Narnia thing is real and stuff. Like it's a, it's a, it's a well-known book. 
and I watched two movies, maybe? Who would, who was like, oh yeah, I wanna go to Narnia? Like, I don't know. I don't know about Narnia, Jed. Hot pot of coffee. Ooh. Top right drawer. Bags of neatly folded flannel shirts. There's a small empty box tucked beneath one of the shirts with a note attached. Read the note, yes. When he found them, so he decided to throw them away. Please don't be mad at us. They aren't good for you. Love, Benny and Christy. Cigarettes? Yeah, it's a, it's a small box, so it's cigarettes, right? I write this down too. There's a piece of paper inside that looks as though it was torn off. A larger document. Read it? Yeah. Reported that he is being teased and pushed around by his peers at school. Because he experiences rejection and teasing, it is difficult for him to build strong interpersonal relationships. Relatable. This door is stuck. The door is locked. Hello, the door is locked. God damn it. Another bathroom. How many bathrooms do you have? A hand towel. Oh, the bathroom thing? Yes, yes. So you're back! Come on, dude. We just talked five seconds ago. So you don't have the sacrifices? No, I don't have the sacrifices. Meh. Okay. Who's your laundry room? Do I make laundry now? Basket filled with laundry. Look through it, sure. Someone left an envelope inside of the pockets of the pair of pants. Read what's inside. Honey, I was worried about Christi uh, Christ Christina. Our teacher called, to called today with some bad news. I think we need to talk with dot dot dot. Found a feather. Quay? Yeah, a little bit of Quay too, yeah. I, yeah. Quay is a good, mm-hmm. This is a big house. The boxes are locked. Uh, to use the switches in this room, turn on their corresponding power source. Both power sources are color-coded and connected throughout the house. Different on and off combinations will affect different things around the house. <gasps> okay. So we are in the mansion again. Another bathroom. Jesus. Jesusies. Look at all these bathrooms. Written something on the wall behind. Look. Thirteen steps in the closet. Yeah, I'm no. I will not. I will not talk to this toilet, Chad. Here's me. Look inside the cabinet. A secret stash of candy bars. TV. TV is broken. Empty. A broken TV, another envelope, a letter on the ground, read it, yeah, sure. I don't know if you'll ever read this, but I think you should look at what your daughter wrote. I know it's not easy, you're all suffering right now, but you need to talk to her before it's too late, Tony. She needs you right now. Deliver to... Endicott, New York. Okay, we have another shortcut here. Cabin's locked. The shelves are abhorred with antique tea sets. Decorative plates. Oh, decorative plates. I wish I had something like this. 
guess we're not going outside. Mom, are you okay? Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. How are you? The house is... This house has so many memories in it. And just feel it. Yeah, Mom, you scare me too. Go out the fridge. Your also list potatoes, peas, lima beans, and milk. The milk part was weird. Why do we need wings, by the way? A red children's backpack with detachable straps. Take the straps. We found backpack straps. Oh, we have those. Take books. Something is written in pen on the inside of the front cover. Read it. Sure. Stop picking on me. That was wrong. Stop picking on me. On me. Stop picking on me. 12, 10, 5. All these numbers, dude. Mm hmm. Door is locked. There is a door and there's light behind it. Okay. I was like, I, I thought it, it looks like a pillar in the middle of this. Oh, I'm here now. Okay. This is closed, I guess, because the, yeah, because the lamp is not lit. Okay, so far so good. So nothing. Very spooky house. Record player. Found another feather. I'm interested that my mom is with me on this. A bookshelf filled with books from around the world. One of the books looks a bit strange. Check it out, sure. As you open the book, you can see that it's been hollowed out and turned into a secret box. You found a dining room cabinet key. You're sneaking in it ever. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Upper cabinet. Several folders containing travel records and airman certification and passports. Which do you want to search? The middle one. There is a letter inside addressed to Christiana's parents. Read it, sure. It is sad to see this decline in Christiana's academic performance. She was once one of the most brilliant students, but now she's failing almost every subject. If possible, I'd like to schedule a meeting with you next week so that we can further discuss the situation. Okay, I see what's going on here, I guess. So, my hint right now, because everything is addressed to this, like, Christiana and not to Benny anymore. I guess Benny is not there anymore. Period. Door stuck. This one too. A stack of postcards have been tied together with a string. Most are, uh, most are too faded to read. You can, however, make out the writing on, on one of them. Read it? Yes! My family just made it to London in record time. It is a good thing because they tell me that a giant storm is coming in. Like, be good to your mother and eat your vegetables. I miss you, you all very much. Love dead. Grandfather clock. A beautiful painting. Someone has hanged something into the button of the right of the frame. Do you want to read it? He's not crazy. Oh. Turn on the power switch, sure. Oh. He hates me. Yeah. He's not crazy, he hates me. We have to make up our minds here. 
What now? Okay, this is like both sides are the same, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can like ask her for hints from time to time. So I guess I guess the blue one is on now. I guess we can go back up and we can like see and go through more rooms now. Maybe even this back door is open now. No. Maybe. It's not. Okay, let's go up. Let's see if we can find more doors that we can interact with. Bonnie, he's absolutely perfect. Tony, I can't believe how much he looks like Christiana. Christian. Christina? I cannot read this name for some reason. Yeah, I guess this is like... You're a big sister now, Christina. How do you feel about that? It makes me really happy. I feel like I've waited forever for a baby brother. You'll finally have another cup to play with. I'll teach him everything I know. I'll teach him the best games, the best hiding spots, the best places to catch fish. I'll be the best big sister ever. I'm sure you will, Chrissy. I believe it. There is a letter here with children's writing on it. Read it, sure. Dear Christy, while you were a big, uh, while you were at Big Kid School, I found this room full of baby pianos. Pretty neat, hey? But there is a, babe, a bad part. They're all broken. Each piano only has one key that works. Weird. If if you want to play the real piano, though, there's one of those downstairs. Love, Benny. Click lag. I found another feather. Look at the chessboard. Sure. Finished looking. Oh, um, I, yeah, um, maybe. Am I finished looking though? Two pawns are missing and a uh, and a bishop. Toy drum. Piece of cheat music with a simple melody is sitting on the piano. Play the music. Oh god, it's a music puzzle. Ba 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 ba. Let's hear it again. Ba 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 ba. What? Yeah, almost, almost, Doreen. We, 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 we get there. I guess it's a ladder. Like it's climbing. It's climbing higher every time. Maybe. Maybe? Why do they have like trap doors in this house? This makes me very uneasy. <laughs> this makes me my
Yeah, why is this house music so spooky? And why can I not? I, this is this would be the perfect scenario where my character should run. I would I would not like be calm about this and like just walk. I'm not crazy. Red switch. Blue switch. Red switch. Ba 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 ba. Okay, Benny. Today I'm gonna teach you how to be a detective. Yeah, I want to learn! First things first, we bears have a real good sense of smell. It's our most important tool. More important than man um, magnifi magnifying, than the magnifying, mag magnifying glass. Yes, even more important than that. See? Watch. I'm gonna close my eyes and using only my nose, I will find us some mushrooms. You cheated. You were in this cave before, and I know it. Mushrooms! Wow, you didn't even look once. See what I mean? The next thing you need to know when, you, when you're looking for a bad guy is how to track their footprints. Bad guys always leave footprints. True. <laughs> Is it true? You know who likes me? My mom likes me, Yusuke. My mom likes me. Oh, you must like me. That's not my mom. Oh, you like me too. I, I guess. What do you mean? I guess. Thank you for the host. I like you too. <laughs> Roll, does Ustra's mom like him? Stop it, guys! <laughs> Stop it! Here's see you. See these footprints? Bad guy made those. You're totally right, Benny. But that's not all. Check this out. There's honey in here. Who put that there? You caught me! The bad guy is dead! Run! <laughs> Your detective skills are too good for me! There is a ladder on the ground. Read it. Dear Christy, when are you coming back from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was in the closet downstairs. You know the closet downstairs where mom keeps the vacuum cleaner? It leads all over the house. There is a locked door up there too, but people are were coming, so I had to run before I could try opening it. Yo, physics, good to see you around. You know, are you are you still running your game? What is going on? Did you did you make a new rep record? Good to have you. I think I found the key and it opens the door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Love Benny. You received the secret passage key. Mine now. More chest rules. Queening. <laughs> you suffered a pace a painful death. This sounds like my life. It happens, right? Like, this is why this is an RPG speedrun. It, it, it happens all the time. Queening. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with a queen as the most powerful piece. This is commonly referred to as queening. Ah, uh, sure. I'm so sorry to say this, but I saw a chess 
meme today that I don't know if you guys saw. I, I don't know. I, I saw a chess meme today, and it was it was so rude. I have to tell it to you. And again, I saw this. It's not mine, and I don't want to harm everybody. But I I I I just was like, fuck. Okay, here it goes. The queen is the most powerful piece on the board, right? It can like move the f move, move fastest across the board. And then the other characters like, yeah, because it looks like a kitchen floor. Mm. I'm like, like, oh god, this is so mean, dude. This is so mean. Yeah, I want to do I mean the other side of the map. Oh, this is not the other side. I'm coming, guys! I need uh, another rook. This is a queen. Was it the queen or the rook? I queen him. I queened so hard. Okay, I was like, yeah, this is like how it looked like. Right. You will not fa take the fight lightly again. Yeah, I mean... Everything can happen in an RPG speedrun, right? Turn the yellow power source on. Yellow so yellow power source on. Yes. It was so... My fault. Okay. What is your fault? I wanna know. I wanna know all these things. Let's do this. You hate sitting in a hospital? Why not standing then? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I can feel you. I don't like it too. I hate moving, Christy. We move all the time and I'm always the new kid. They pick on me. It makes me never want to leave the cave. I know, Benny. I feel the same way. But I'm talking you, I'm taking you to a place that will make you feel much better. Really, Chrissy? You're the best. Promise, Benny, you're gonna love this place. There's something connected to your veins. Ah. This is so neat. How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout. It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make it our first official secret detective clubhouse. This is the greatest! Wait, but doesn't somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? And the garden? All spirits put the lanterns here. And the gardens just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Chrissy. I do love this place. And check this out. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main path. But if any bad guys try to catch us while we are doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place, but no one can find us. Thank you, Christy. You're the big sis. You're the best big sister ever. Come on, Benny. Want to see what the cave looks like? Yeah. Hmm. A children's comic book. There is a folded uh, piece of paper between the two of the pages. Read it, sure. Today, Christy and I found something really neat inside the secret passage. Uh, passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall. It will. It, it leads to a small room at the end. It's so secret that you can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the closet. Then you can find it. You're gonna turn it into our clubhouse and use it for all our detective work. Hmm. Pile of white socks. We found 5G. 
Neatly folded school clothes, coloring books, and a family photo in a frame. Okay. Give me this. On a feather. A painting of a sailboat. Alarm clock. Teddy bear with a note attached. Read the note. Benny, my boy, your mother tells me bears are your favorite, so I got you this for your birthday. What will you name him? Love dead. Peter. It's Peter the bear. Of course. Why not? It's a beautiful name for a bear. New, new messages on the wall? Nope. Peter. Yeah, Peter the Bear. Like, is it not a good name? I feel like this is an amazing name. You all know this is an amazing name. Pretty amazing. So we could also go to the attic now. To the attic. Peter is basic. Yeah, but it's a good. Yeah, because it's a good name. So let's go for thirteen steps here. Uh, uh, I cannot read this. I'm the worst listen. I'm the worst sister. Oh God. There is a letter on the ground. Read it, sure. Dear Benny, I think we're the only ones in the whole world that know about this place. Isn't it neat? I brought some candy for when we get hungry and glue from school so we can build the model planes Dad got us. I'll meet you here after school, love Christy. Glue. Don't sniff the glue. Several toy bears neatly arranged in a pile. The name Benny has been uh, em embroidered onto all of them. Hmm. The Official Secret Detective Diary by Christy and Benny. Invisible Ink. Chapter 1 Invisible Ink. Did you ever need to write a message that only you can read and not the bad guys? Mix lemon juice and water to make the ink. Uh, when you want to read it, hold it in a warm light bulb. This is how detectives do it. Dusting for fingerprints. After a crime happens, detective dusts for fingerprints. You, you can do this using baby powder and mom's makeup brush. Okay. List of bad guys. Johnny, Dr. Killer. Dr. Killer, Mr. Evil, Roger and Alex. The dentist. I hate the dentist, dude. This is the worst killer of them all. Jaw of colorful kill children's candy. You will all you can all agree with this, right? Like the dentist is the the scariest killer of them all. You know it. You know it. But let's go to the other door. We have the key for it, so why not use it? Yes, it's a treasure chest. There's a letter on the ground addressed to Christiana's parents. Christina did not attend school today. Her classmates said that they saw her sitting at the park during their walk to class. Given her failing grades, her inability to concentrate in class and her social isolation, I'm recommending that she visit a specialist. Please contact me so that we can set up a meeting. This is for uh, for the best. Dentist is one of your biggest fears. Yeah, I can re I, yeah, I, I can relate to this. Not for me, but uh I know someone who did, uh, who really just really is not, you know, dentist. A dentist fan, which is fine. Which is fine. We all have our fears. Like, and again, if someone is uh, afraid of a spider, he is afraid of a spider. That doesn't mean he has a scaredy pants. It means he is a human. I'm not scared of anything. I'm scared of hugs and nice feelings. They make me scared and vulnerable. Hmm, it looks like a dead end. No. If you, we finish building those wings, I'm sure we could use them to fly across the divine. 
Mom, are you crazy? You know that we cannot make the jump about uh, over this gap only because we have we have like fake wings, right? Oh yeah, good idea, Mom. Let's continue searching the house for all the materials listed in the instructions for making wings. We can come back here once we have everything. Do we don't? We don't have everything, really. Uh, I have. Six feathers, eight sticks. Uh, uh, yeah, there is a little bit left. Uh, we need a little bit more. It should be somewhere, maybe? <laughs> it's muffin time! Yeah, time to die! Hmm. Oh, what about these chests? The box is locked. Box is locked. <gasps> I found a feather. <gasps> you found two stick. I have everything. Amazing! You did a glorious. Oh my god, a 20? I didn't see that. Sorry. I am amazed by your barrel roll. I was like, I was stunned for a, at least two full seconds. Wow, what a barrel roll! And did you see the little, the little, the little hand move in the end? Like he did the barrel roll, and then he did like a, huh. like you know, like the, like, like, the, like, the, like the little pinky up. Amazing. That is really graceful move. Asleep. Face planted. And another dice is gone, yeah. I can't wait to eat. Nothing wakes up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig in. I'm not hungry. Oh, is it possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy! Sorry, I mean, we were. Both kind of snacking. Ha! <laughs> it's okay. We are on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. Hehe. <laughs> Benny, wait! Swissy? Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. My girl. Everything seems very happy right now. I don't trust this happiness. And I'm in control of this little bear. That's never good. If you're in control, something is about to happen. You will not jump this bitch. Benny! Oh god. What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Chrissy. See, look. No, don't do this. It's really strong. No, it's not. Come on, Benny. Stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you and... And I just don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Penny, please. Okay, okay, sorry. I get off now. Thank you. Uh, help! Penny! Sorry, Dad. Don't cry too much. It's happening. We know that this would happen. I said it before. I said it. I said that there was only letters for the parents of her and never for him. So I guess he was not around. God damn it, this must be hard. Dad. Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? Dad is sad, dude. Okay, Christy. The father's just very tired today from work. Why don't you come on back and finish your dinner? Okay, mom. There you are, dad. 
Oh, oh, he's he's blaming her. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot, uh, he cannot like divide the thoughts. Oh yeah, I, I, I have this too. Like this, he's like he's like overthinking this. Of course, he's sad because the boy is gone, but he, he, he inside him he blames her because she was with him, and he cannot like he will be mad at her now. I've been looking all over for you. Dad. I think you should go home, Christiana. Yeah. The Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. Yeah, it's like not possible anymore. It just... You always said... Okay. I'll go home. Yeah. Um... Yeah, dear. Does that hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's uh, also a lot of love for you. Doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. Try. Night, Chrissy. Yeah. Night, Mom. I mean, this is not a super shocker because, again, the 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 whole like situation was hinted on that, but still. Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make these wings, Mom. Do you want to kill me? Hun, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down like this? Yeah, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Please don't do that. Whoa, these are great. Do you think they will work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it will be fine. Just jump, dude. It's all, it's all right. Don't look down, though. Well, then, are you, are you all ready to go? Let's fly. Oh, mom has wings, too? That's good. Guess we found Tony. Tony? Oh, the slow, the slowest of freaking turns I ever saw in my life. Hey, kid, how'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. I am afraid. Tony, you found this letter. It's for you. From, uh, Christy. Dear Dad, it's been uh, so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to make me up in my... in. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love Chrissy. I mean that's not true. Yeah, this is not true. Of course not. Now I don't hate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with the, so much guilt looking at you. You look so much like him. I didn't uh, leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what happened, what what had happened. I know that's selfish, and I'm sorry. Knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it. I love you so much. I've only ever wanted to be, be the best of you. To, to I, I I butchered that. Sorry. You will always be my little girl. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what it is about, right? Treasure chest. If I increase this journal key, I guess we learn about the song now. Yeah, the, again, the whole like point, what we're learning on the song, I guess, again, I never played this, but I guess this is what it's like hinting at. It's, uh, everything is hinting that we are ready to go and ready to let go and ready to like accept that we are going to die. I'm so sorry to say this, but this is how, this is how it will end up. Like, we, we will get ready to uh, say bye-bye.
It, it hinted. It, it hints so strong on this. Like, uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit sad, to be honest. Even with obvious, yeah, it's like it's it's it, pff, and the right door did not. It is a uh, pretty obvious, yeah, but that's you know it doesn't mean that this is oh this is the right door, perfect. It doesn't mean that this is not like a uh, you know still sad because it is. Let's see, diary. There is a folded note inside, labeled to Chrissy from Dad. I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Chrissy. But to help you understand just how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tuck you uh, in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this. And that you'll think of the song I, I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away from work, for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, dead. Oh, the door appeared. I was like, mm, something happening or what? Is something happening or what? Daddy, I can't sleep. It's all right. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Grizzy. How not? How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I ju I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. Oh yes. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course, and no warm, no warm up could be, be complete without a. Ah, oh, yes. You are the funniest. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I guess we learned the song now. Yeah. Song time. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud Or do a funny dance Set song incoming, yeah! Even though I go far away for work You should always know That no matter how tall you grow You'll always be my little Sad dad, dude. I don't know how these like two songs relate to each other, I guess, but okay, not Chrissy. Received uh, the Morino Kukoro part two from six? Question mark? Yeah, I guess from six. Runestone family. Achievement unlocked. Huh? Where all the bears go? Mm, I'm not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have Blacksmith Jackie fix the music box. We better run there. What's that? So that we don't uh, accidentally forget the song before we got there. Ha, huh, you're right, let's go. You, we better run. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? We know the song. Jackie, we know the music box song now. You? That's fantastic news. I'll get right, uh, right to work. We'll have this bad boy uh, up and running in no time. My music box! Only you bear in my hut! Don't worry. It won't hurt you. Little little bit. Did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony. Yes, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's just he really looked like he needed help, but didn't know how to ask. So the little 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 little, little bit did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? Can't believe this. Don't even know what this means to me. Can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. 
You're a much nicer creature than I give you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only I do promise not to harm your village, I always, I also pro promise to protect it. I owe you so much. At, at, at the least I could do is show you my gratitude. I, well, uh... Thank you, Tony Bear. Thank you, all my new little friends. Did he get the music box now? Mom, look! Another door! Should we go see where it leads? Yeah! No! Mm, I wanted to see there's like a down a down path from the village that I wanted to... No. Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me a... Resty. Hi, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. And for some reason it's night again in my own room. And I guess Yami will show up again. Mom? Yeah. Still sleeping? I mean, yeah, try, dude. Yami, it's you. Should really be used to this by now. Heh. <laughs> I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, huh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the Libby a little bit? Of course I do. You think you're so special, the only kid who's been to the for to the forest? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami, I just... Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good. You don't have to explain. Heh. <laughs> Wait. So that means... You know about, uh... Morizona... Morizora. Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe in the first time I saw it. Everything is so wonderful there. The creatures are real and they uh, want to talk to me and help me and I want to help them too. Ha, ah, yeah, everyone loves you when they want something from you. Wait, what? I'm just saying. It's human nature, you know. Shouldn't feel bad about it. It's just the way it is. Are you gonna wish for anything? From Marizora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw, he was sleeping, and even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think so? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people, kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help any anyone with anything? Oh, Yami. Oh man, I'm... I'm I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches me again. Better go. Yami? What? You've helped me. Huh, why? Because I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? Ah, <laughs> no. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What are you on? What, what are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Yeah, because... Um, I guess because, again, he is you, I guess. Nights are the loneliness, you know. But when you're here, I'm not so. it's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. <laughs> you know what time it is. Oh, good morning. Where's my where's my book? Oh, she has, she has it in her hands. Okay, I was like, <laughs> Mom, hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did. I feel refreshed. That's what I like to hear. So, looks like you you we're all set. I get these tests to the lab and. Auntie, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but we're having a. Bit of a problem. No worries, Kenji. What do you need? Well, I hate to tell you this, but... Isaboro got out again. What? He broke a new 
the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room and I'm pretty sure he got outside too because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh, why? I just don't have time for this now. I'm thinking we might have to re-evaluate Kizaburo's medication. Fortunately, I think you're probably right. Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You're free to walk around today if you like. Yay! Thank you, doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it will be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji, I'll meet you at the at Kizaboro's room. So I guess we go to Kizaboro's story next. Take them to the ch shadow realm. I yes, I yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Actually, what do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Kizaboro? Yeah, let's go, mom. Hi, mom. Hello, dear. How are you? Everyone says hospital, hospital and airplane, airplane food, are, food are the worst, but I actually kind of like it. Okay. Good, ma'am. Good for you, I guess. I was in Tony's room just earlier and he seems different. I might even say he was happy. Let's go see him then. Oh, she's here. I like your hat. I folded it myself, my mom taught me. Wow, you did a very good job. I used to know how to fold some things out of paper. Not sure I'd remember any anything anymore. Hello, Tony. Hey, kid. Oh, my job? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, well, I'll read this. Who's the lady here? That's my daughter, Christiana. Like I always say, it's good to have some company now and then, don't you think? Huh. Good. I didn't find a new marble, right? No. I guess I cannot buy new stuff. Hey there, what are you guys doing? Oh god. I put I I brought everything already. Good. Nothing new in here too. Okay, I guess we go to Kizaboro. I mean, we have like what, three stories left? Maybe, maybe Yami has a story too. So, I think a higher dose would help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating. Kizaburu, why is my mom also hiding from the doctors? Kizaburu can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. You can't keep taking my jewels away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her some... So I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. Hmm. Oh, hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone thinks I'm completely lost. Why did you go outside? The doctor thinks it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send the message. Hmm. Something when, sometimes when a patient's body is not well, it can affect their mind. These sorts of things are never easy. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what's going on. He doesn't remember me. He doesn't remember you? What? Oh, hello, dear. How are you feeling today? 
Our anniversary is coming up. I thought I'd bring Kizaburu something nice to cheer him up. But I figure it's best to wait until he the right time. I'm sure he's exhausted from all the tests, so I'll give him some time. Huh. Lie to me, you... You woman. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? What can I help you with? I'm sorry, I really need to make sure this gets finished. I'll come back to your room later and check on you, okay? Oh yeah, we, we, we went through the door he broke down already. This is like already a thing. The, 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 the thing is maybe we have like a new door here. This is an old door. And this is still locked. Okay, yeah, let's get let's go through this door. I don't know. I don't even know where this took me last time. I guess to yeah, this this takes me to the uh, yeah to the tea house here. Yeah. Gucci is here. I guess we need the pickaxe ne the pickaxe next. Here's Kizaboro, by the way. What brings you to the hot springs? What's up? I know it looks like I'm relaxing here, but it's most like a uh, solitary con con confident. What do you mean? Well, a long time ago I fell ill. A kind of ill that no legal doctor could cure. So I visited Morizora back when he was still awake. He told me to soak, me to soak here in this hot spring to regain my health. That was a long time ago, and he's since fallen into a deep slumber. I've come to accept my fate, though I worry of my family once I'm gone. Can I help you? I hate asking you. I, has, I hate asking for help, but seeing as you, as how uh, Marizora's commemorate me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Kazuku, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she's had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps perhaps if Kazuku had a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. Do you think you could visit her at our tea shop, Westerfear, and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course. We'll help out whatever we can. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to both of us. Okay. Let's see what this story has in store. I wonder why he's ill. Like, this is a. He, they make a huge deal out of his illness. Oh, hello, welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you today? Can we help out? You want to help? You help? You want to help? You mean like you're looking for a job? Well, not exactly. Your husband, Kizaboro, asked us to see if you need anything. Actually said that to you. Oh, well, I guess I could use some help with a couple things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd, uh... I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind, his name is Monsieur Bupp and he holds regular tea events that requires lots of tea. I'm sure if I could bring him a sample he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately I'm the only employee so I can't really leave the store right now. If I could leave I'd also visit our neighbors to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. Hey, hey Banara! Whatever this is good. Wow, good eye. It is indeed a big carry banner. She's grown quite a bit. However, I don't think she will bloom without the dragon's ash. Anyways, so you you really like to help? Okay then. Would it be too much to ask to go in my place? To bring Monsieur Bub a sample of our tea and to pick up some dragon ash from an ash from our neighbor. We'd love to help. Well, thank you so much. You'll find Monsieur Bob in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of Leelby Village should take you there. Oh, my nose is itchy so much. Ah! 
Ichi no se. You can give him a sample of tea from this grod. You received the grod of midnight tea. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Yeah, it's time for the pickaxe, yeah. Occasionally the entrance to her cave gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she will give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidate intimidated. Good luck and thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is so itchy. So itchy, chat. Everything is so itchy. Where does this lead? What does this lead to? What are you guys doing here? Hanging around? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Rule number one. Don't touch the bag the bad guy. I was up I was um, I just asked I whatever. Whatever, let's go to back to the village. I, I, whatever. I, I was I just was I just wanted to be nice, dude. I just wanted to be nice. One second, guys. I guess I used this uh, little moment here to say hi. Uh, good to have you all here. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday so far. I really quick want to look something up. Uh, and then I will be right back to you guys. Tell me about your feelings towards the game. Did you did you shed a did you shed a tear so far? I will not judge because I was close yesterday. Today was a little bit more foreseeable and the whole story was like more predictable to me. So uh, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know how it is sometimes, right? Right, you know, you know how it is sometimes. It was close, but not yet. Good. Oh, yeah. Damn non for you. You are not very emotional when it comes to hospital games. I see. You a strong-willed man. I see. I guess we go back to uh, the village, the normal way. I don't know if I can make a pickaxe right now. Maybe. Let's see if I have all the ingredients. Welcome back, guys. Pickaxe. I'm sorry, but you don't have the right materials. Okay. Ah, they're still shy. The ground alpaca still don't like me, Chad. I don't know why. I did nothing wrong. I wanted to check the right side here. Go to the forest and see if we can do something uh, there. And we can maybe talk to the mushroom people too in the cave. Oh, we can get this chest too. Good. Good. Yeah, again, the most like annoying stuff in this game is like the fact that you cannot run by default. But then again, I will not like turn it. I will not do like a mod or like a patch to get this in. Uh, but that said, 
normally these kind of games, these RPG Maker games, have a run button. So, uh, yeah. It's a little bit weird that this one doesn't have a run button, but because you have to run around a lot. And you have to do a lot of backtracking. And like, running or not running makes no difference for the game, in my opinion. Like, running will not kill the mood of this game. It will, it will only make traveling from place to place more convenient. Oh, there's the bear family. It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I no longer want to live by myself on that island. I'm really enjoying spending time with my daughter and grandcups. Thank you for giving me back something I thought I was, was gone forever. Okay, cool. Happy bears. Very happy burps. Happy burps. Happy little burps. Let's go back to the mushroom people. They should be on this side, right? Maybe we can like trade something there. I'm again like I'm I'm a little bit lost in in, in, in what we can do and what we need and what we uh, want to do and all that stuff. Like, I don't know how big this game is in terms of like doing all tasks or like you know getting getting into a ah how many money how many money do i have 90 money 10 money 40 money 80 money okay so we just brought stuff for the uh i guess the room this like patient room is the condition to 100% the game, so we're close to do this, I guess. Oh, well, not close, but we are we are doing this. <sighs> Come on, mom. Oh. Come on, mom. Mom. Here we go. I know where to go to get to space to get to space. Two is still here, so I guess this will uh, be something that we have to do later. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go to the tea party and to Miss Yubop. Oh god, what a mansion. If I stand right here, doesn't it doesn't it kind of look like I uh, have a tree growing out of my hand? Trees growing out of a flower. Oh my, oh my, the tables have turned. Oh my. <gasps> More wood. Oh, I guess I need these stones for the, uh... I hear Monsieur Bob is serving some kind of special cake at today's tea. I can't wait to eat, but I'm still kind of full from the last event. I had five scones the other day at Monsieur Bob's afternoon party. I got to work it off somehow. Reach for the sky, work off those calories. Yeah, you do work. So I can feast my eyes on your workout, and I don't do ha I don't have to do it myself. I also turn on exercise videos on my television, so I then I get a good feeling because they do all the work, and I pretty much do just nothing. But I can watch it, and other people sweat, so that's good too. You 
You found a flower marble. Oh, another marble is cool. It, it's ghoul. The ghoul, yes. By the desert's heat. I wish I could run. Oh, I curse you, game. I curse you for not letting me run. This is so... This makes this game longer for no reason. Oh, let me run. I will not... In, I don't know. It's too late to install the patch, guys. I will do it th this way. Have you... Hurt. There is a Lil Lieble. Lieble? Lieble. Artisan who was who has created the a remarkable tea set modeled after Skybubs. It's gorgeous. I believe he's on, on one of the other floating islands. You should check it out if you get uh, the chance. I will I will take my blanket, guys, and I will wrap my blanket around me. I will look comfortable, chat. I don't care, it's a comfy stream now. Comfy, it's a comfy crying stream. And I don't care if you laugh at me, but me, it's cold today. You can, you can even call me old, or nerd, or both. It's okay. Twenty-five gold. Oh yeah. It seems your book. Mmm, yes, which classy music we have here. Tea server. Are you looking for Monsieur Bub afternoon party? Uh, yes. It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourself. Oh, I will enjoy myself just right. Don't you worry. I brought my mom. My mom is my date for this tea party. Nice instruments. Very classy. I didn't get you this job so that you could go just goof off all day. First, this stink bomb, and now these preposterous drawings. Maxwell Havel the second, you stop this behavior at once. Little Buds, not Maxwell. My name is Little Buds. Little Buzz, what? Why the? Why in the? You're acting like a hooligan. Dad. You got chill. You're gonna be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But dad, I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you are grounded. Now, come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, dad. Aha. Yeah, you cannot deny you're dead. What the frick? Wow, mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where Monsieur Bub lives. Sugar baby? Okay. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you gonna stay for the Monsieur's afternoon party, uh, tea? Oh god, a pumper, yes. Sugar baby, Rupert. Yes, Rupert. More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no, what did oh, they take this oh, time? No. Oh no, yeah. Only the monsieur's absolute favorite dish. He can pull apart syllabary crumble. Not the crumble? Yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. We must be on high alert. Until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folk? They are, uh, they're from, uh... They're my cousins. Cousins? Your cousins. Oh, yeah, my cousins. They're totally cool. I've known them from my whole life. Hmm. Thanks, sugar baby. Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. Are we fancy in here or what? Are we fancy in here or what? This is amazing. Whew, that was close. 
My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name is actually Ethan. Let's call you Sugar Baby. But everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cups for the tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the Great Sea before. Wow. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. Your arms have five little arms. Growing out of the, uh, out of the ends of your arms. These called fingers. And you have brown grass growing out of the top of your head. This is called... Hair. Brown grass. So cool! So, what brings you guys to Monsieur Bubs? We were hoping he might try some of the special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Oh, the Monsieur, Monsieur loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh, wait. Hmm, boogies. Are you okay? Normally, this would be easy, but there is a slight problem. As you could probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing fruit from the kitchen. And until we figure out who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not gonna tell and not gonna let anyone near the monsieur. Sorry guys. Unless Maybe you guys could help us find the thief. We're short staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. You mean we'd get to work here? In the big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food, strawberry cake, sandwiches, syllabary jam, you name it. That sounds great. I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you could get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the monsieur would drink your tea. Sounds like a scam to me. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could get you the job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Okie dokie. Come with me. First, we gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. Let's go, sugar baby. Hey, Rupert. This had better be this had better be important. It is. I have great news. You found the cool crumble thief? Not quite, but it's still good. You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Uh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short staffed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. <laughs> He's like squinting his eyes. Like, mm. Your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience with waiting tables or with tea? Do they have do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why where they come from? They are practically famous for serving tea. <laughs> I love this so much. This is so stupid. <laughs> So what, uh, what do you know about Chi? It's hot. Well, now that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial great ma matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend from silver tips and dried silver berries? I certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180. Hmm, I'd suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that asm you have. And good choice with the puree. Queer. It's helped balance on the heaviness of these desserts. <laughs> He's like, splendid. Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yay! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as the, the smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. 
And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf blends. Alfred! Yes, sir. We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Do I have to rememorize everything? Right this way, ma'am. It's still cold now. I turn off my heater again. It's so cold in this room. All the tears I shed is all the tears I hold back. All the tears that I hold back will make me very cold inside. Oh, God. I guess I... Tr I guess I cry soon. Oof, it's so cold, guys. Meh. Are you are you cozy and warm right now, chat? I hope so. I wish the sun would shine down on my head and warm me and burn down my enemies. That would be good too. But first and foremost, I need a little bit of a warm sun. Ooh. <laughs> you can start a fire, that will make you warm. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> what should I burn first? You're used to the cold. You can do it, mom. Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too. But you're not out there. Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniforms on and serve that tea. The guests are waiting. Yes, sir. Do you have a uniform in my, you know, like appearance? My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited to get to work here. It's gonna be so much fun. It even snowed today. Ooh, I love a snowy walk, yeah. You can wear Lester's uniform, it's over there on the bed. Red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear the red bow tie too. Anyways, go ahead and get changed. I met you back in the servants' quarters. That's the room where Rupert is. And the Frida Serts. Oh, ho, ho. see you soon, my new buddy. Uh, yeah, it, it snowed yesterday a little bit. But it didn't, it didn't stick, it didn't stick to the ground. Ground too warm. Ground was too warm. But it was still cool. To see a little bit of snow. And we should go snow over the night. I don't look any different. I have like a... Heels. And a bow tie. Oh, wait a second. Nothing biggie. Let's go. Oh, can I like see the other rooms? Wait a second, guys. Door is locked. Hello. Oh my, this is a splendid room. It's a treasure chest. 25... Gee, don't mind if I do. It would be a shame if there would be another thief around here, right? If anything else got missing <laughs> while I work here. It would never happen, right? It would never happen. A pink chest. You found the N NHB concert poster. I guess this is mine now, too. I guess it's also for the room. Let's make a save soonish. Oh, you look sharp. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guest if they want tea. If they do want tea, try to find out which kind they like. Then come back to this room to get the tea from for them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that will help us find the food thief. Over here are the different kinds of tea. 
pour some into the into your cup and bring it and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at the time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you practice on Rupert? Bring him a cup of his favorite tea, the Cillaberry Special. Oh, and one more thing. See this sink up here? Yep. If you accidentally get the wrong tea and you're still here, you can just pour it out in the sink. Got it. Okay, go bring Rupert that Cillaberry Special Tea. Syllaberry special, syllaberry special, syllaberry specialty. Here we go. You're now carrying a cup of syllaberry specialty. Oh yeah, I'm. Look at me, mom. I'm carrying tea. You tried a weird tea today. It was an Earl Grey cream latte. Ooh, Earl Grey is okay, but the other part is like, I don't know. If it's, I don't know. But I'm not a good tea person. I don't like hot drinks at all. I'm not a coffee person. Or not in the slightest. Um, and I'm certainly not a tea person. Uh, Sayo forces me to drink tea and that's fine for the most part. But, you know, if I can avoid hot drinks, I don't drink hot stuff at all. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. It's a weird mouth feeling for me to, like, pour something hot down my throat. What now? Like in, 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 in terms of like liquids. What now? This had better be important. Serve Rupert the tea, yes. Is this a syllabary special you brought me? Delicious. Yeah, you did it. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby, Fuji. I'm heading to the party room. I'll be here. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Soup is liquid too. I don't like soup. Yeah. Yes, sir. I barely eat soup. Even if I'm like super ill, I'm not doing that. You're all ready. The party has been held in the in the room to the left. Now, get out there and serve some tea. Oh, I do this. I do a safety save. Because I didn't save for a long time. And I will use the potty. It's potty time. Old pooper time. Thank you again so much for being around. Hope you like it. I will be right back. Don't go too far. Don't swim with the fishies. Oh my god, my chat box is out of place. Why did no one tell me? Did you see the chat box right now? Oh god. Oh my. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my god.